for almost eight years, the man I'm talking about took a character and made him so real that I thought Don Draper was a real live ad exec that worked during the 60s and the rise of the 60s counterculture and really did come up with a Coca-Cola jingle I remember in 1972. But no, Don Draper never existed at all, except in the mind of Matt Wiener, the creator of Mad Men, one of my favorite shows of all time. It took John Hamm to bring Don Draper, warts and all, to life. And he did so, so incredibly, that it's impossible to tell where Don Draper begins and where John Hamm begins. It's not that I know John Hamm. I'm simply saying that's how well he played his role. That he didn't take home an Emmy at any point during the time that he played Mad Men many people thought was a crime. Well, all that was made up for Sunday night when John Hamm finally, finally got the Emmy he so wonderfully deserved and earned so long ago and simply piled up on that value year after year after year. I can't blame John for climbing all over the stage rather than walking up in the normal way. He was so resigned to not winning the Emmy that it looked like he had an out-of-body experience. <laughs> but it happened that he got it, and we can definitely say that in a world where people lie, cheat, steal, do things to other people that they have no business doing, Make sure that others don't get the success or the accolades they so deserve. That on one night, one person finally got what they so deservedly earned. John Hamm took home an Emmy Award. Congratulations.